We are now just hours away from Grand Rapids police officer Christopher Schur making his first court appearance. He is expected to be arraigned tomorrow. Schur will be charged with second degree murder for killing Patrick Leoya in April. If convicted on that charge, he could spend the rest of his life behind bars. Our team coverage continues tonight. We start with News Ace Whitney Burney, who was outside GRPD headquarters after talking with protesters. Whitney. Well, dozens of activists took to the streets here in Grand Rapids, starting here at Grand Rapids Police Department and eventually making their way to City Hall. Their message tonight, this isn't over. I'm stopping you. Do you have a license? After nine weeks, I made the decision to charge Christopher Schur with one count of second degree murder. Charges coming down for GRPD officer Christopher Schur for shooting and killing 26 year old Patrick Leoya. A welcome surprise for activists who have been calling for accountability since April 4th. I was not expecting this. I'm sure a lot of y'all was not expecting this either. A few dozen people stood in front of GRPD headquarters chanting this evening and paying tribute to a life loss. A moment of silence bringing up raw emotion for some. Their focus now, a conviction. Just because he was charged with second degree murder, that doesn't mean that that's going to be upheld in court. It still has to go through a whole due process, and he's still innocent until proven guilty. And so we need to make sure that we're pressing, we're pressing uh, hard on the judges and making sure that we show up in those courtrooms. The police has got to go. The police has got to go. Activists also calling for an overhaul of the policing system, saying this could happen again. So why it took us 65 days? Do you know how many days all these people been standing out here? It's been protesters that have been arrested for something they never did. Jimmy Barwan, who says Leoya was like a brother to him, happy to see charges, but he believes Officer Schur should spend the rest of his life in jail. We lost a father. I lost a role model. That's some, somebody I looked up to. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? Yeah! Something he and other activists plan to fight for until the end. We're not going to stop. We're still going to be out here until we get justice by any means, I repeat. By any means. So this is just a start. Now, those activists have, of course, left downtown Grand Rapids this evening, but they say they'll be watching the trial closely. Live here in Grand Rapids, Whitney Burney, News 8. Yeah, well, a forceful message tonight, Whitney, but a peaceful one, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that live update. The chief of police announcing today that he's taking steps to have Officer Shore fired. The prosecutor also explained why he decided to issue a murder charge. News 8's Kyle Mitchell continues our team coverage. Kyle. Sue and Brian, Prosecutor Becker thanked the family for their calls for peace and patience as the legal process moved forward. He says Officer Shore turned himself in. Uh, second degree murder is a felony offense. It is punishable by up to life in prison with the possibility of parole. I wouldn't charge if I didn't think I could prove it. Becker says he believes the charge is appropriate. The elements of secondary murder are relatively simple. First, there was a death, a death done by the defendant. And then when the killing occurred, the defendant had one of these three states of mind, an intent to kill, an intent to do great bodily harm, or the intent to do an act that the natural tendency of that act would be to cause death or great bodily harm. And finally, that the death was not justified or excused. The prosecutor responding to questions about why it took two months to issue charges, saying he did not receive the investigation until just after Memorial Day. But I never got that, you know, the full report until about eight days ago, so I don't think this is outside the bounds of uh, uh, what we normally do. I respect the decision of County Prosecutor uh, Becker. Grand Rapids Police Chief Eric Winstrom now moving to have Officer Schur fired. Based on the information that I have available to me at this time, I intend to recommend the city manager immediately suspend Officer Schur without pay pending termination. The chief says it has been a tough two months for the department and the officers who know Schur. This is going to be a difficult time for the police department. Uh, we'll get through it. News 8 spoke with a national expert on use of force who says he was not surprised by the second degree murder charge. He says the condition of the taser, which was deployed twice during the struggle between Schur and Leoya, could be key if this case goes to trial. That certainly could be something that convinces uh, jurors that uh, he, was in, he, he was in imminent fear of his life or he wasn't. Defense attorneys for Officer Chris Schur issued a statement tonight reading, quote, Mr. Leoya gained full control of a police officer's weapon while resisting arrest, placing Officer Schur in fear of great bodily harm or death. 
We've also reached out to the police union for comment on these charges against Officer Schur and haven't, haven't heard back. Brian. Kyle, thank you. Patrick Leoya's family relieved by today's news. His father watched the announcement with his lawyer in Detroit. After the charges were announced, he talked to us about how he was feeling. My reaction today, I was not expecting anything good or special just to happen. Patrick Leoya's father was not expecting much from today's announcement, but then he received a call from the prosecutor he'd been waiting for. When he told me that the police would be charged, I was not expecting that. I was not hoping that to happen. And when he gave me that, he told me that I felt like a little bit strength and relief a little bit. Peter Leoya speaking through a translator saying he hasn't really felt the weight of it yet. I haven't felt it yet because I was not expecting it to be like a 65 days ever since when my son passed away and he was killed. So when I was coming here, my heart was still broken because I was not expecting a good news at all. His attorney, Ben Crump, now focusing in on the trial. Well, we pray after looking at, you know, the jury of many Minneapolis, Minnesota, giving a fair trial to George Floyd uh, after seeing the jury in South Georgia give a fair trial to the family of Ahmaud Aubrey. We pray that Grand Rapids can give a fair trial in holding the police officer who unjustly killed Patrick Leoya responsible. Patrick's father still cautiously optimistic, hoping for a conviction. I'm not going to say that I have a lot of hope for what is coming ahead, because first it's God, that's where my faith is, and the lawyer Ben Crump, Anthony Van Johnson, who have been helping me and going taking this case, that I'm really convicted. I have the assurance that we can get the justice maybe in the future, but for now, no. Our coverage involving this case will continue tomorrow. We will be in court for Christopher Schur's first court appearance. Make sure to follow us for updates both on air and at woodtv.com.